Nice to have you with us.
It's estimated New Orleanians eat about 750,000 king cakes every year. Not so hard to believe when you consider everything that qualifies as a king cake. We have a non-traditional king cake, so there are no rules over here. At her La Vie and Rose Cafe, Kirby Jones pays homage to her Creole roots with two offerings. A sweet rose-flavored cake and a savory cake stuffed with crawfish. Do you get challenged because this doesn't look like a king cake? Sure, yeah, so that's why we have these fun names for them. The Rose Queen Cake, and this here we call the Don Creole. While working on his book, writer Matt Haynes discovered endless ways bakers can make a king cake, but only one way to eat them, with a whole lot of people. You're not supposed to eat king cakes by yourself, you're supposed to share it. The cakes are delicious. But the fun part about it is sharing carnival season with everybody. That's what makes it special. That's what normal is in New Orleans. And it feels like we're heading back in that direction. Like, 
this is just not going to happen for me? Yeah, I think it was about a year and a half before we got the green light for the movie. But before he gave up completely, this test footage of the movie was leaked on the internet. Oh, hello there. I bet you're wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. Fans went crazy, and that helped convince film bosses to give Reynolds the go-ahead to make the real movie. Oh, hello. Deadpool 1 and 2 made more than 1.5 billion box office dollars, but Reynolds says that, like his character in the movies, his self-assurance is just an act. So, you've talked about struggling with anxiety? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had anxiety my whole life, really. And, um, you know, it's, there's a, I feel like I have two parts of my personality, that one takes over when that happens, when I would go out on, like, Letterman back in the day. I would always be nervous. But I remember I'd be standing backstage before the curtain would open, and I would, I would think to myself, I'm going to die. I'm literally going to die here. Or the curtain's going to open, and I'm just going to be, <laughs> be a symphony of vomit. Just like, something horrible's going to happen. But as soon as that curtain opens, and this happens in my work a lot, too, it's like this little guy takes over, and he's like a guy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ryan Reynolds. So Ryan, I feel like my heart rate dropped and my breathing calm, and I just kind of come out and, and I'm just a different person. And it's like I leave that interview going, ah, I'd love to be that guy. Wow, I'd love to be that guy, that Ryan Reynolds. Sure, yeah. Maybe no one else would, but I, I look it up. <laughs> Besides his flourishing movie career, Reynolds also has stakes in businesses like a cell phone company. You can sew that up in post, guys. A gin maker and a Welsh soccer team. <laughs> and his recent film, Free Guy, was a huge hit. It was his first time working with director Sean Levy after a famous buddy insisted they meet. Your matchmaker was Hugh Jackman? Yep. Yeah. And, uh... We met on the dating site, Hugh.com. That's right. <laughs> uh, but he told me, if I ever meet Ryan, and if I ever work with him, we'll never stop. And then from the minute we first met on Free Guy, uh, it was gangbusters. They're actually neighbors in New York, and they have a few other things in common. Reynolds, with his wife, actress Blake Lively, has three daughters. Levy and his wife, Serena, have four. You said that you're coincidentally neighbors. You moved across the country, didn't oh, you? Well, I'm never going to admit that I moved across the country to be closer to him. My movie mirror um, features, Shawnee. But if I get a few great movies out of it, it's all worth it. It's worth it. travels east, too. Like, you the opposite of the Donner Party. You guys, except you all made it. Um, <laughs> yeah. How'd you get to be so smart? How'd you get to be so dumb? And, well, maybe he can't actually time travel. Ryan Reynolds has come a long way, too. You mentioned that if your 12-year-old self could see you now, mm -hmm. what he would think. Do you give yourself a moment to step back and look at where you are? And if so, what do you think? Yeah, I think, I think my 12-year-old self would be proud of me because I do this thing in a way that uh, has some integrity. I, I, I like to think uh, a 12-year-old. Look at where I'm at, and I'm, you know, we're doing all right.